what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at again with another video so unfortunately we weren't able to stream smackdown tonight uh we were celebrating uh, uh one of the homies was uh getting married this weekend so he was having a little bachelor uh a little bachelor shindig at his place or whatnot so we wanted to uh show out and support him so that's the only reason why we didn't stream but i was able to check out uh some of the segments on smackdown and the most noticeable thing i, I want to talk about obviously is the bloodline situation and what they got going on there so apparently well first things first let me talk about the i guess the the promo segment before the match between solo sokoa and uh matt riddle so you know, you got Sammy and Kevin Owens out there, you know, and Kevin Owens is, you know, pretty much about to go into the spill of, you know, trying to tell Sammy, hey, you know, you really should have listened to me. I hope they're not teasing any type of breakup anytime soon because that would just kind of defeat the purpose of them coming together. So that's what, you know, pretty much they're having their little uh, discussion about. And obviously, the Usos come out and they're, you know, Usos come out with uh, Solo Sokoa, you know what I'm saying? They're, they're talking their mess or whatnot. And I like what Sammy was saying. Sammy was hitting some truth bombs. He was like, yo, y'all, you, you, you just don't want to admit it. You just don't get it. Like, Roman doesn't have, he doesn't want, he has nothing to do with y'all he doesn't want anything to do with y'all after y'all lost those titles he has been treating y'all differently you don't even want to realize it you didn't even realize how solo was looking at you he wanted to take you out not too long ago you know he y'all really are not getting what roman is doing to y'all and that's fine you know, you got to report back to daddy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got to report back to your tribal chief. Because at the end of the day, he doesn't even want to talk to you guys. And that's very, very important. Because ever since they've lost those titles, they haven't really had any type of interactions with Roman. The only person that's had any interactions with Roman outside of Paul Heyman is Solo. Because Solo is the main reason why Roman is still champion. Solo has been that silent enforcer that's done everything that Roman says to the best of his ability, got things done. So, obviously, you know, Roman's not going to be one to talk to them. And Jay's response is like, you know what? I thought Kevin Owens was going to be the one to turn on you. But nah, 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 nah. I thought Kevin Owens was going to be the one to portray, portray you, Sammy. No, it's Sammy. That's going to be the one to portray Kevin Owens because, you know, he betrayed my own family or whatnot. And they basically get into the ring. Then uh, Matt Riddle comes out there and it's just like a three on two situation. Matt Riddle makes it a three on three situation. They go from there. There's another promo segment. Basically, uh, Paul Heyman letting it be known that uh, that they will be having a rematch for the tag team titles, but this time, at, not at a pay-per-view, uh, it's gonna be uh, a, a, a SmackDown episode in Corpus Christi. So, which is, that's a good way to get people hyped up about the match, you know, to ha actually have it on television. I think it's gonna be a pretty good match. They're I'm gonna have a pretty good show in there. Um, so, that's what's happening. Instead of a, at WrestleMania Backlash, whatever they're calling it, they're gonna have it on SmackDown in two weeks. Um, and I, this was something really good that Paul Heyman's really good at doing. His promos are very meticulous. He does things for a reason. And if you pay attention to it, you'll catch it. It's not, a lot of times it's not even outward, like put out there. You got to pay attention to it. So while he's announcing that the Usos, you know, putting up the ones like, yeah, we're going to get the job done. Boom, 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 boom. You know? Paul Heyman, the way he's using his words, you would think he's talking about Sammy and Kevin Owens, but he's not. He uh, he ends up saying, you know, the tribal chief is, you know, losing patience with the both of you two, like you two. He's pointing at Sammy and Kevin Owens. The Usos doesn't realize he's talking about them because he's pointing at Sammy and Kevin Owens when he's saying, the tribal chief is losing patience with you guys, patience with you guys, but he looks right at Jimmy and Jay. So he's pointing at Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn while he says that, but he's looking right at them both when he's saying Romans is losing patience with you guys. I love that. That was great. That's adding more story to this. As a fan, if you're watching that, you saw that. You're like, uh-oh, 
He's not talking about Kevin and Sammy. He's talking about the Usos here. Because, once again, Roman has been showing them the, uh, the cold shoulder. Has not even wanted to talk to them since they lost the titles. And I think this is really going to be playing up into the fact of what they're trying to do. The dissension of the bloodline. Obviously, it only made sense for Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn to retain. And I think that's going to be a, a very uh, interesting situation when it does happen. Because then we're going to see how Roman really reacts. We're going to see what happens now that they lost. They're going to most likely lose again in a couple weeks. Now they didn't regain their titles. How Roman's going to treat them. And then we're going to start seeing this dissension. And I'm, I'm very, very, very interested in seeing how this plays out. Now, I want to give credit to this pretty cool idea, a uh, pretty interesting idea. Uh, Jim Cornette, I was watching one of his episodes. Uh, he was talking about the Paul Heyman segment or whatnot and the Brock Lesnar and Cody Rhodes situation. I do think, because this whole Brock Lesnar thing literally came out of nowhere. I do think it would be, you know, well, he, he brought this up. Maybe Paul Heyman is the reason is the one that contacted Brock about attacking Cody Rhodes after WrestleMania. Maybe they they had a conversation, but Roman doesn't know that. And if you guys have been paying attention, Roman asked Paul Heyman, "Did you know that that was going to happen? Like did you know that Brock was going to be uh that Brock wanted to team up with Cody like he asked him if you guys remember that the Monday Night Raw uh after Mania he asked him and then every week after that people have been asking Paul how much effort did you know that Brock was gonna attack Cody and I think that would be another way that we really drive home that the bloodline is is not as tight as it was because Paul Heyman potentially may not have even told Roman about Brock uh you know attacking Cody and you would think he would need to know that. Roman would be like, whoa, you know what I'm saying? You need to let me know if you're about to do something like that. And, you know, he would feel like he couldn't trust him. And I think that would be another interesting way. Because if you're going to go all the way with it, if you're going to go with the whole bloodline falling apart, Paul Heyman needs to be a part of that as well. Paul Heyman needs to be someone that, you know, ultimately may break away from Roman as well. Not just, you know... The, the family and then Paul stays by his side no Paul is a slimy individual so it would make sense you know he's looking out the best interest for Roman Reigns and Roman Reigns could be like bro I didn't need Brock's help you know why did you go behind my back you know like that could be a, a, an interesting story line that they do you know if you want to really bring it home that everybody at some point is going to be leaving Roman you know what I'm saying whether Roman kicks them out or whether they leave on their own so i i, I do want to give credit to jim Cornette. i know a lot of you guys don't uh, uh listen to him or prefer to you know uh check out his stuff but i did see that clip um and i thought that was an actually pretty interesting interesting take maybe paul Heyman has more to do with brock lesnar being behind this whole situation but other than that man let me know down below did you guys enjoy this week's smackdown i didn't get a chance to check out most of it but i did want to check out that part because i do feel like that was a very good way to subtly tell the crowd roman's really pissed at jimmy and jay and they gotta win this match which they most likely won't and it's going to cause some more friction. And the uh, decline of the bloodline will continue going forward. That's the only somewhat positive thing about Roman having the titles. Is this storyline is happening the way it is. It still could have happened without them having the titles. All of them. But it's happening this way for a certain reason. So Roman can now really be an asshole to his family. The people that's helped him retain those titles so it's gonna be interesting to see how that play out but i appreciate all love and support road to 150k and i am still your undisputed youtube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all kicking me see y'all next one peace